we continue to look at how to read the Bible appropriately. And the fourth thing that every Christian must know when they read the Bible is this, words do things. And in fact, I think this is probably the scariest part about reading the scripture. Words do things. For example, when we read the story about Jesus' baptism, it says that Jesus exited the water and the gospel writers all note that the Holy Spirit entered into Jesus. The Spirit dwelled inside of him. And to our modern imagination, this sounds rather violating. Until you imagine, until you realize that there are much worse things that are trying to enter into the human heart, such as Satan and all the evil that he brings. But the Word of God is every bit as violating to us when we read it. It enters into us. It changes us. Timothy Keller, in his book on prayer, explains it well. He writes, God's words have a power infinitely beyond our own. Timothy Ward's book, Words of Life, argues that God's words are identical to his actions. And he quotes Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, which says, Let there be light. And there was light. And Ward observes that the passage does not say that first God spoke, then He proceeded to do what He said He would do. No. His Word itself brought the light about. When God names someone, His very Word also constitutes the person. When He renames Abram to be Abraham, which means the father of a multitude, that Word makes the aged man and his wife biologically and spiritually capable of being progenitors of an, of an entire race. We see, we see again that what God's voice does, God does. God's speaking and acting are equated. Look at Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 through 11. It says, As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. We humans may say, let there be light in this room. But then we have to go and flick on a light switch or light a candle. Our words need deeds to back them up. And they can fail to achieve their purposes. God's words, however, cannot fail the purposes because for God, speaking and acting are the same thing. The God of the Bible is a God who by His very nature acts through speaking. His Word speaks into our lives. It converts. It transforms. It renews the human heart. So I'd encourage you to be careful with these words of God because they do things. They do amazing things. They change even our own hard hearts. Please pray with me. Blessed Lord, You have caused all Holy Scripture to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of Your Holy Word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.